If you're applying for family medicine residency as an IMG, what program should you be considering? Well, in this video, we're specifically going to be highlighting the top 10 programs in the state of Florida that you might want to consider. I'm Dr. Rajani Kata, and I'm the author of multiple books for medical students and residency applicants, including the successful match, Rules for Success in the Residency Match. I'm also a part of MD2B, where we've worked with a number of IMGs over the years, and a number of them are very interested in the state of Florida. Understandably, it's a very diverse state, and it has a number of family medicine programs. In this video, we're going to highlight what we consider to be the top 10 IMG, uh, the top 10 most IMG-friendly family medicine programs in the state of Florida. So with that, um, let's go over our list. For IMG-friendly family medicine programs in Florida, I want to start with this one, HCAA Healthcare Mercer University School of Medicine Orange Park Medical Center program. And the reason for that is 78% of their residents are IMG, so a nice percentage. Now, they do have minimum USMLE cutoff scores, 210, 220. They do prefer U.S. clinical experience, and they would like a medical school graduation within the past two years. And they uh, offer one type of visa, a J-1. So clearly, this isn't a program that's going to be um, applicable for everybody, but 78% IMG, so something to consider. Another one is the University of Central Florida, another HCA healthcare Gainesville program. This one, very similar, 75% IMGs. USMLE cutoff scores 203, 222. Now, notice specifically that they are requiring U.S. clinical experience, and they do want a very recent medical school graduation cutoff, either within the past 12 months or within the past 18 months if you have research experience. They're not offering any visas. So this is a program that's only going to apply to a certain subset of applicants. But if you fall into these categories, if you're a recent graduate with some um, and you meet the cutoff scores, this might be a program to consider. And Gainesville is a lovely city. Another program is Florida State University College of Medicine. This program, 73% IMGs, and they do have that cutoff scores, 220, step one, step two, and they prefer that you have passed it on your first attempt. Now, one thing I want to highlight is they are requiring over six months of U.S. clinical experience, and this can be a differentiator for you because uh, if you do have that over six months of U.S. clinical experience, which a lot of applicants don't, this can really help make you a favorable candidate for this program. Even for other programs, that amount of U.S. clinical experience can really set you apart and provides an area of excellence within your application that can be very strong. They do want a med school graduation date within the past three years, so do pay attention to that. No visas at this program. Now, the Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare Family Medicine Program is another one to consider. Not as many uh, IMGs, but still a strong number, 42%. It is, uh, if you do have a failure of step one or step two, you may still be considered for this program. They do want to make sure, though, that you have passed by your second attempt for both of those. And it, really important here, they require at least six months of U.S. clinical experience, and observerships do not apply. So they want to make sure that you have that hands-on U.S. clinical experience. They also want to make sure med school graduation within the past four years, and they offer a J-1 visa. Another program we're highlighting is the HCA Healthcare USF Morsani College of Medicine, Oak Hill Hospital Program. And this one, a lower number of IMGs are current residents, so 25%. Uh, no specific cutoff scores, but they do require that you have passed both step one and step two. They do, however, want a graduation year cutoff within the past two years, so something to remember. And they offer a J-1 visa. Also want to highlight the Advent Health Winter Park Program, and uh, one of the reasons is 56% are IMGs. Now, really important to note, though, they do require passage of your step one and step two on your first attempt, 
And it's really important to recognize that they require at least six months of that U.S. clinical experience, and they want that within the past two years. So it needs to be that recent experience. They offer a J-1 visa, and if it's been a while since you've graduated from med school, this is a program to consider because they don't have a specific cutoff date for med school graduation. Next program that we're highlighting is the Florida State University College of Medicine Lee Memorial Health System Program. And this one's in Fort Myers. 33% are IMG, so not a huge number. Now, they are looking at cutoff scores for step one, step two of at least 220 is what they would prefer. They also want to see that you've had some U.S. clinical experience, although they're not specifying how much. They offer a J-1 visa, and they do prefer that you have graduated medical school within the past five years. So some specific requirements for this program, but Fort Myers is lovely, and um, if you meet these requirements, this is a program to consider. The next one is West Kendall Baptist Hospital at Florida International University Program. This one's in Miami. Uh, only 17% of IMGs, but something to consider. They do want to make sure that you have passed step one and step two on the first attempt. And again, I'm going to highlight this. They require at least six months of U.S. clinical experience, and they specify that observerships do not apply. They don't offer visas, and they want to make sure that you have graduated within the past four years from medical school. And then in Jacksonville, the Mayo Clinic College of Medicine and Science program, Only 25% are IMGs, and I want to highlight that those cutoff scores, they need at least a 200, step one, step two, and they want to make sure that you have passed on your first attempt. So if you have a failure of step one or step two, this may not be a good program for you to apply to. They do require U.S. clinical experience. They're not um, specifying how much, but they do require it. So if you don't have any, this is not a program to apply to. And then I am also going to highlight that this is a program for recent graduates. They're looking for students who have graduated within the past two years. And they offer J-1, H-1B, and F-1 visas. And then Advent Health Sebring Program. This one has a higher percentage. 63% are IMGs. And they do require that you have at least taken step one. They do require a med school graduation date within the past five years. They don't have specific requirements for U.S. clinical experience. And they do offer both a J-1 and an H-1B. So it's a program to consider. And that wraps up our top 10 in Florida. And from all of us here at MD2V Connect, we wish you the best of luck.